Welcome back to Generic Expats. I have a special guest today. Come on in. Who is an expat from the US. She is an owner of a local gym and we're gonna find out about her story and look at this beautiful gym here in Roatan Island, Honduras. All right, here I am in beautiful Roatan in Honduras. So let's get to know this person, this guest right next to me here. Hi, my name is Corey. I'm 36 years old. I am originally from Texas and I currently reside here on the island of Roatan. Do you have a business here? Yes, I am the owner of Oceanside Health Club. Awesome. Come on in. Here we find ourselves inside the establishment here that Corey has constructed herself, and let's talk to her and get her story. So tell us, how did you end up coming down to Roatan? When did you first come down here? Um, I first came to Honduras in 2012, scuba diving. Uh, I was on another island, the island of Utila, and that's where I met my current husband, and moved to Roatan with him. He's from here. And that's history, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, Utila, for people that don't know, is like one of the main uh, diving spots in all of Honduras, right? Correct. Yes, it is. How long did you stay in Utila for? Um, I was there about a year and a half. And then you really liked the country. And Okay, great. Let's talk more about your gym now. How did you come to establish the gym? I moved to Roatan in 2015, and where I was before in the States, I was really active in the gym. When I moved here, um, I wanted something very similar to what I was doing back home, and so I decided to create a gym myself, and that's... But you didn't create this gym at the beginning, right? I did not. So what we have now is like your typical gym with all the machines, equipment. We do have the CrossFit area and the classes as well, but when I first started, we started like a box style, if anybody knows, like a hit style fitness. It was about a thousand square foot space. We had kettlebells, dumbbells, a couple machines, but it was very instructor based, about 20, 25 people per class. Small area, really like intense hit style. And then something happened where you changed and did a little business pivot, right? Yeah, we had to pivot. Uh, COVID hit, and as we all know, no one wanted to be near each other, on top of each other, especially breathing and exercising, sweating on top of one another. So I decided instead of completely shutting the business, I would maneuver and make it larger. Um, it was a pretty risky move at the moment because in this country, gyms were actually, actually forbidden during COVID. Um, it was illegal to go to the gym. We were closed. So I closed my old location, a thousand square foot. I decided to build a new location and make it about five times larger. Fingers crossed that gyms would come back to business. It would be illegal to open and it, it paid off. It was a good, good business move. So that is the current location that we are in right now, right? Correct. Yeah. So where we are right now. This building itself has how much time about? Uh, we came here in June 2021. So as to date, we're about a year and a half in. So quite a new gym itself, despite having your earlier gym in the past, right? Yeah, so yeah. you already have a lot of experience, but this is a newer location. Yeah, correct. We started, um, I started in 2018 in the smaller business. COVID hit, as we know, in 2020. Um, we started about mid-2020 constructing this space. It took us about a year and we moved here in 2021. So how was it being a business owner here in Honduras? Is it more difficult than you thought? How is it compared to your expectations? It's a lovely challenge. It is, uh, <laughs> you know, it's been a great experience. Um, it's been a great learning experience, um, especially given the language barrier. I'm trying with my Spanish, but it's not obviously my native language. Um, it, it's different. There's a lot of different like rules, regulations, a lot of different concepts. Um, so it's definitely kept me on my toes. Is there any like really quick pointers for people that might want to be business owners here in Roatan? This island is great because 
there's so much available to do, um, especially if you're like from the States or from maybe Europe where things are a little bit more developed. It's so easy to take a concept that you love and bring it here and make it your own. Um, the island is not completely saturated in a lot of departments. So that I say, bring your passion here and make it your own. Yeah, this island is still definitely developing. The entire eastern edge, they tell me that that's the area really that's developing quite a bit now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. The whole island is developing a lot. Um, I, I know you're fairly new here, but we just got like really nice paved roads. We're getting like, I mean, honestly, we're getting like nice buildings and everything is kind of adapting. You know, um, there's a lot of people coming in like myself and from other places, but a lot of people here as well building nice businesses and really adapting it to a uh, a better lifestyle. So you don't think it's too late to come to Roatan to settle? Is it still a good time to come? It's a great time to come. There's a lot of opportunity here right now. A lot of opportunity. So this is a gym that offers more than just the uh, strength training equipment, correct? That's correct. Um, as I mentioned, we started, we were doing like hit style classes. We had things like Zumba, Pilates, abs. So we've kind of continued a little bit of that format while also opening into your typical gym where you can come in yourself with no trainer, no class and just do your workout. What types of classes do you have available now? You said uh, Pilates. Yeah, we've done uh, Pilates, yoga, um, abs. We've done the HIT style classes. We've done CrossFit classes. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a few, but. <laughs> that sounds uh, great. Trampolines, we did, I mean, a little bit of everything. Okay, awesome. And I noticed in the front, you also have like a coffee shop, a cafe available as well? Uh, we do, yeah. So one thing about Rotan is we have really great food. Um, a lot of it's not the most healthy thing you could find on your plate. Um, so I wanted to create something that kind of paired with the gym lifestyle. So we do um, smoothies, we do protein shakes, we do salads, we do wraps, paninis, anything that helps you get along the health track, right? And um, besides that coffee shop, I saw that there's uh, training supplements as well? Yeah, we have all types of supplements, anything from like glutamines, creatines, proteins, we have vitamins. Yeah, fantastic. I bought one myself. It's going great. One other thing I noticed is that there, um, there are classes specifically for the niñas. Are there some unique classes here? There are unique classes. Um, I am a mother of four kids. Um, here on Rotan, it's a little bit difficult for especially the little girls. There's not that much extracurricular activity. So I decided to, again, create something for them. I have three daughters, um, and every time we would travel home to the States for summer or whatever, they would always love to do ballet and gymnastics and dance classes. So I created a studio here where they could do that, and we brought in a teacher from the mainland, from the capital in Tegus, and she's running our dance studio classes. We have um, ballet, we have hip-hop, we have tap, jazz, and gymnastics for kids ages 2 and up. Wow, okay, that sounds great. I've seen a couple of those classes with the toddlers running around. I'm like, oh, that's cute. What's going on there? <laughs> Talking about the location here in order to train, if you're coming to live here on the island, what is the location of your gym? Uh, we are very centrally located. We're located on the main highway here. Um, we're about seven minutes from the International Airport. We're in an area of the island called Brick Bay. This is a centrally located spot where it's not going to be too far from anywhere when you're living on the island, really. Correct. It? And we have one main highway here. Uh, we're right along the main highway, so you can't miss us. It's actually quite a nice road. I've been driving that on my bike. And the other roads around the island, eh, not great. But the one in this specific area, it's great. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and take a little tour around your gym and check out the little dancing area and the different classes and different places that you have open here for people. Last minute uh, things you'd like to mention about living here in Roatan in Honduras? It's a great island. Um, if you're thinking about opening a business here, there's definitely some challenges, but there's a big rewards as well. Um, 
It's a small place. Any new ideas coming in are always welcome. Bring your passion, make it your own. Be prepared to work hard, but have a big payoff. Let's talk a little bit about the prices also for people wanting to come here and train. What will be the price for one month and one year and groups? Um, we are at 800 lempiras a month. That is about $33 at the current U.S. dollar rate. Um, we have group rates for two or more people. We do discounts. And then also for the year, we give you two months free when you purchase a year. Awesome. And that is going to be with cash and card only, right? Uh, and transfers, local bank transfers is what we accept. Awesome. That sounds great. Well, thank you so much right. for the information. I wish you all the best with your business endeavors. Thank you.